Hello, hello. This is Yeshua speaking. I need to discuss my past life, okay? Because what it is, is that this is something that has been bothering me from a past life, and I need to heal it in this life. So, this is what it is, okay? This is the stuff that I was very angry with, and it's the past life is Dr. John of meeting Mary, okay? So, understand that I was really in love with Mary. I loved Mary as I always do. And she was Mary Laveau in this lifetime. Okay, I was Dr. John. She was Mary Laveau. I ran my own shop and you know, yada, yada. We ended up seeing each other, okay? A lot more often. And so, this is the problem what was happening, okay? So, Herman to James has a habit of just allowing this toxic person, this toxic older sister in his life, no matter what she does to him. And so like, I lived a little bit, so this is what happened. Me and Marie Laveau, I lived a little bit with the parents, but I said, you know what, uh, baby, I don't want to be here because we have always had to leave the house when the sister would come over. And that made me feel really uncomfortable because what it is is that Herman to James owned the property. And so he wouldn't speak up to tell the bitch to get the fuck off the property. And so every time we would go out, we would have to avoid her every other dinner that she would approach every Sunday dinner, whatever it is. And so I got to the point to where I was like, I don't know, I was still kind of understanding my own stuff to where I was just like saying, you know, like I, I surpassed her, right? Because she did physically assault my fucking wife. And that was when I was meeting her. Okay, I didn't know that. And so I found out and, you know, when I met the brother, I looked past it, I said, well, maybe he's all right. Like, maybe he just like, like I understand brother, we all get in those moments where we can't stand up to people. And so I looked past it and I still moved in with Mary. But the thing is, it was kind of fucked up because every time she came over, we had to fucking leave because I didn't want to fucking interact with the bitch. I didn't want to fucking talk to her. I would have not fucking want anything to do with her. And so it got to the point to where I said, let's fucking get the fuck out of here, Mary. Let's fucking leave. Okay. And so we were living nearby like a little bit, but then this bitch was like fucking doing some shit. She was like trying to send people to break into our house and all this motherfucking shit. And she was being a fucking toxic bitch. And then like, we stopped talking to Herman because we're like this motherfucker, he fucking allowed this shit. She could have been easily thrown in jail for the shit that she did to me LaVoe because she physically assaulted my wife with the fucking knife in a past life, okay? And so, it got to the point to where I was like, you know what? I fucking went to Herman's house and I told him, you know, you're just a fucking pussy. You're just fucking no good. You say you're a fucking man, but really you're not. You can't stand up to your own fucking toxic sister and you're a fucking pussy. And I said, fuck you, motherfucker. And I punched him in the face until he fucking bled and left. I didn't want to end it that way, but the thing is, is that it was his failure to protect my wife. See, he goes on about how he protects my wife, but when it came, comes to the toxic sister, he couldn't do it. And so I had to punch him and beat him the fuck up to tell him how much of a fucking pussy he was. And so me and Marie Laveau, 
we said, fuck it, baby. Let's move further away. Let's get the fuck away further. Let's not even fucking move where your family is and just don't fucking talk to them. Yeah, you could talk to Loretta and all of them, make sure that you're okay, but don't fucking talk to them. And I was sad that I had to do that. I was sad that we had to fucking move away. But it was because Herman didn't fucking stand up to his fucking sister. He didn't fucking do shit. And it wasn't resolved in that lifetime. It wasn't fucking resolved. They tried sending us to, to family dinners. I said, nope, we ain't coming down. We ain't coming down. We didn't ever come down for Christmas, Thanksgiving. We didn't do nothing. We lived our own life. All because Hermit and James couldn't grow a pair of fucking balls. She ended up suiciding herself. And that's when we did come around more. But Hermit and James, he didn't fucking take accountability. He didn't take accountability that he was being a fucked up man. And that's why he has a lot of karma. And that's why he can't open to abundance in his lifetime. Is because he's a broken motherfucker. He could not take accountability. And you know. It does make me upset. But like. There's nothing you can do about it. What can you do about it? You just get upset. You cry about it. No. But you know. We just had to live away for a while. But it's whatever. I ain't even mad at her, him anymore. But he needs to learn to stand up for himself. But will he in this lifetime? I don't know. I really don't know. And so since I really don't know, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, except I'm not going to meet him. I'm actually going to take Marie Laveau with me. And I'm not going to meet him. I don't care if he says, oh, talks a bunch of shit. But the thing is, he didn't protect my wife. So why, why would I have any interest in meeting you? My wife was in physical danger. So why would I want to meet somebody like you when the Lord asked you to fucking protect her and you don't do it? It doesn't matter who the fuck it is. You stand up to that fucking bitch. You stand up to her. People are fucking pussies, man.